welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in this interesting video regarding the shalya tantra subject of fourth year bms bachelor of ayurvedic medicine and surgery the students have the subject shalya tantra or the surgery they have both have ayurvedic aspect as well as the modern aspect so this is regarding the diseases of rectum and anal canal myself is professor dr rajendra deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine kai chikitsa and md in ayurvedic physiology that is uh, kriya sharira for paid online consultation or paid online classes you can definitely whatsapp me on 9226810630 so let us start to study this particular shalya tantra lecture for the i am sorry here is a printing mistake i can definitely rectify it this is not for the first <laughs> i am sorry but this is for the fourth year bms students okay so this is for the fourth year bms last professional course and this is according to the ccm central council of indian medicine syllabus for the shalya tantra paper 2 part a there is a point number 13 diseases of rectum and anal canal and today we are going to see the congenital disorders so in congenital problems there are three important things post anal dermoid cyst cyst is like a tumor but it is a hollow and it's with liquid with a specific liquid it's not a solid okay sacro costal teratoma and imperforated anus these are the three problems which the child can have from the birth itself when the problems are from birth that is called as a congenital problem this is shalya tantra surgery fourth year bms three things you have to remember post anal dermoid cyst sacro costal teratoma and imperforated anus this question can be asked as saq short answer question we will see about post anal dermoid cyst this is situated behind the anus and in front of the coccyx and sacrum this can be seen in the adults also this is a soft cystic swelling cyst of course that can be get infected and then unfortunately sinus will be formed so the best treatment for post anal dermoid cyst remove it excision to remove that particular cyst is the basic because the chances of infection will be there next sacro costal teratoma teratoma at sacro costal region low back most common tumor seen in neonatal baby form very hard in consistency it is usually seen as a big swelling and may this teratoma may change into the cancer or malignancy so for this also the best treatment is to remove it out that is excision for the teratoma like the cyst teratoma should also be removed next is imperforated anus we are discussing congenital from birth anomalies or the problems in anal and rectal region okay common congenital abnormality imperforated anus that's why immediately after the delivery there is also a presence of pediatrician the doctor of the neonatal babies he will come and he will check whole body from head to toe whether there is any abnormalities congenital anomalies imperfect fusion of hind gut and lower part of the anal canal that is proctodium anal stenosis this is new problem the whole of the anal canal is narrow or anus is very very microscopic with a minute opening anal stenosis stenosis means very coming to the near the patient presents passing of a meconium with pain treatment dilatation of the anus is a treatment for anal stenosis so this you can see this is wide and this is narrow decreased passage size here the stool cannot pass so there will be pain this is normal and this is narrow next anorectal agenesis not forming a blind rectal pouch like a bag lies just above the pelvic floor in the male the fusion is attached 
to the bladder, urinary bladder, and often there is a connection, fistula between rectum and bladder. What is fistula? A hollow part, hollow part from rectum to the bladder, and that is called as a rectovesical fistula. You will be asked in the oral, what is rectovesical fistula? That is fistula, that is a hollow tract in between rectum and urinary bladder. Okay. In females, fistula may be present with posterior fornix. In this variety, sometimes gas or meconium is present in the urine. Of course, it is rare, but this is possible. So, anorectal agenesis. Blind rectal pouch lies just above the pelvic floor, often associated with fistula. Can you see from urinary? This is urethra. Huh? This is a penis and this is scrotum. So, the fecal matter is coming. Fecal matter. Very dangerous. Okay. So, here you can see the fistula. Okay. This is the external thing that you can see. So, hi. In the male, rectovesical fistula. Rectovesical fistula. Recto prostatic urethral fistula. Then recto upper vaginal fistula in the females. Intermediate. Recto bulbar urethral fistula. Recto lower vaginal fistula in females. This is male side. This is female side. Recto vestibular fistula. Fistula means at both the ends of the hollow srotus. Both the ends. It's like a pipe. Open at both sides. Open at both sides. Pipe. Low. In the male, anocutaneous fistula. In the females, anovestibular fistula. Anocutaneous fistula. So, this is all about today's very small lecture of Shalya Tantra lecture. For the, here again I will correct it because this is a printing mistake. I am sorry for that. My dear friends, please bear with me. So, this is fourth year BMS. Now I am saving this. Okay. From the next time it will not over there. Okay. So this is fourth year BMS, CCM syllabus, Shalya Tantra surgery, part two, paper A, point number 13, disease of the rectum and anal canal. And in that 13th point, this is a very small point of congenital disorders. We will discuss all the points from the Shalya Tantra in this lecture series. Okay. So thank you very much. And I wish you all the best for your exam, for your career also. Take care and bye-bye.